Welcome back, everyone. I am Brian. You are Chords and Notes Nation. This is Miss Aina Abdul, and um, the song is If I Ain't Got You. This is a cover song, is it not? Was this Alicia Keys' song? Forgive me if I don't know. It's not the genre of music that I listen to, but as I was looking up for live performances, this came up along with Alicia Keys' uh, performances, so I was just kind of curious. But anyways, I wanted to see a live performance. Um, one of my patrons has made a very good and valid point about artists who are in their studio and uh, and produce their, their work that way. They have the benefit of being able to edit and go back and retake and that sort of thing. Here with live performances, you really don't have that at all. Uh, so I was looking forward to hearing what she can do live as well, because I'm very fascinated with her singing style and her voice overall. If you guys are new here, welcome. Have a seat. You are in my living room. I will give you a raw, honest, and unedited reaction as always. Please like, subscribe, and share. Ways to uh, connect with me outside of YouTube. Ways to contribute to the channel. Ways to become a patron and enjoy all the perks and benefits there as well as all the time discounts on merch. And if you're interested in Chords and Notes merch, all of that stuff is in the description box below. So I won't waste any more time talking about that. Let's get started. This is three years ago this was posted. Soulful. Some people live for the power. Some people live just to play the game. Some people think that the physical things define what's within. And I've been there before. She had a wedding? Just when everything, but everything means nothing. If I ain't 
Look at that smile. She's amazing. She really is. That's 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 cool. I think that's that looks like it's probably a wedding and it's that's a good song for a wedding, of course, of course. Um so she can do it live. It's not just in the studio. She can do it live. And what what I'm taken by in this performance was seeing the joy and the passion in in her coming out, in her facial expressions, in her body language, and most importantly, in the way that she was singing the song. She did a wonderful job with it. It's a song I don't know, so I don't can't compare it to the original. Uh, however, what I can say is that I enjoyed all of the different dynamics that she included in the song, and especially when she started hitting the, that high note um, just, she did it just the right way. It just impacted me in a way that was, yeah, it, I enjoyed it, definitely. And, and again, like I said, I don't, I don't listen to this kind of music. It's not my, it's not my kind of music. But she is the kind of singer I would want to listen to, and I will listen to more and more, because I think she's just so fascinating. And I think it really has to do with... There's just this genuine nature that comes through her singing, and it's so calming and eased. Um, you can tell there's passion. You can tell there's desire. This is something that she loves to do, uh, but she's not. Uh, she's not obnoxious about it. She's not a, a diva in the "ooh look at me" sense. Uh, she's a genuine person who's delivering her blessing, her musical blessing. To the rest of us and I think that's absolutely the way it should be done so fantastic well done Ina thank you guys for joining me today God bless you Jesus loves you and I will talk to you later